Okay, so let's look uh, further at Pandas and we'll see how we can plot uh, our analysis. So we've got a number of uh, 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 data sets here. We have a healthcare one, the crime education. These ones are all based on US data and then we have a UK referendum uh, one there. So you should find that each of the examples reads in the data set and then you can actually analyze them. Often what we're looking at is correlation. So we're looking at the basic correlation between two parameters. If the value is greater than 0.7, this one is here, then there is a very strong correlation. So in this case, there's a strong correlation between heart, the heart disease death rate and the infant mortality rate within inside the states of the, the US. Okay, but what we're going to focus on this uh, presentation on is to look at the charting uh, function that we would get with pandas. Okay, so with this we should be able to plot one parameter against the other and then we'll do an approximation linear line and do some uh, linear reg uh, re regression on, on that. Okay, so, so now let's look at our code here. Okay, so I've just created a very simple little program here. So this is the first one. That we've got we have a, a CSV file for our, our data. So in this case, it's the healthcare data related to the states of the the US related to the infant mortality rate, heart disease, death rate, stroke, death rate, and and so on. Okay, so we can pick off uh, a number of factors if if we want. We can enter. Our commands so uh, we read it into an object called ver and that's pandas there and then we can actually use the, the methods within inside pandas to do our analysis okay so there we go there okay so in this case what we've done is that we've just uh, viewed the first three records. These are this is a national record, Alabama, Alaska, and then we've actually printed out the linear regression uh, from from there. Okay, and the linear regression comes in through the stats model. So you bas basically just uh, install that into Python. That will create the SM object, and then you can use OLS to do the linear regression between infant mortality rate and heart disease death rate. Okay, so, and so now what we'll do is we'll look at the charting function. So with the charting function, what we're doing is we're integrating the, the, the mathplotlib.py plot as an object we then print out as a, a scatter. So the great thing is that it integrates directly into that library. And all we need to do is to, for the object that we've got, we define the X value and then the Y value. So in this case, what we'll do is that uh, we'll plot our parameters. So let's go for heart disease death rate. and stroke death rate. Okay, so we're going to read that in. Uh, this is just the title, we're going to do a scatter array, and then we'll do our linear regression. So this is doing our linear regression here. Uh, we're finding out M, which is the gradient, and B, which is the point at which it hits the, the y-axis, and that will do a polynomial fit for us. And then we'll plot that as a line along with our scatter, and then we'll basically just print out uh, the equation of the straight line and then just show it. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and we'll run that one. So it's Python. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So this is the stroke uh, 
death rate against the heart disease death rate. So you can see there is there is the sign of a correlation. So if if we did the if we look at stroke against heart disease, and we look at the correlation. We'll see how strong a correlation it is. It's not it's not great. Uh, so here it is here. So it's point point six six, which is pretty good. Uh, for a correlation, uh, you see there's a little few outliers here, but generally it's following that that trend upwards. So in the state, as the death rate, that's the number of people dying per thousand in the state, and as we increase, we see an increase in the heart disease death rate. We'll also see an increase in the stroke death rate. Along with this. I've printed out the linear regression here. So if we plot this line here, then this line is actually equal stroke death rate is equal to 0.14 times the heart disease death rate plus 13.96. Okay, and that's the equation of that that line. So if we want to approximate for our state for the value of 180, we could just uh, plug it in into here, and then we'd be able to see what we would expect for our our, our stroke death rate. Okay, so that's the that's the uh, that's how we plot with with uh, pandas. So we're going to have a look at, uh, at some other data now. So for the next one, we have uh, crime in the cities. So in this case, uh, we've taken cities over over two hundred fifty thousand. Okay, so uh, the data contained in there is this okay so th those are all the cities and we're going to analyze it in terms of the of the various crimes within inside the cities uh, it's based on per 100,000 of the population okay and then we'll have a look at the the correlation so so as we we can look here we can actually see there's actually a quite a strong correlation between property crime and burglary and property crime and larceny theft there's a correlation here uh, between violent crime and motor vehicle theft okay so so what we'll do is we'll, we'll see if we can we can plot that from there And we'll just see if we can find our data set first. Uh, it's called City. Okay, so we're going to read in City. And let's have a look. <coughs> So one that has a, <coughs> a very strong correlation is property crime and larceny theft. So let's actually look at that one. So it's property crime. Let's copy it. So it's property crime and larceny theft should get a very strong correlation here. Okay, so it's just the same. We're reading in a different CSV. And now let's go see if what we get this time. And there we go. So you can actually see a very, very strong correlation there. I think it was about 0.9. And if we do our linear regression, we end up that larceny theft is equal to 0.65, the property crime uh, value plus 97.97. Okay, and that's the line that we've drawn there. Okay. Uh, so now let's look at our next one. So that's US crime in cities. The next one I'm going to look at 
is education. Okay, so in, in this one, what we've got is the states and uh, the the percentage uh, gaining a high school graduation, bachelor's degree, advanced degree, and we've also correlated it with the household average household income per state. Okay, so we can look at the the correlation here again, and we should be able to see that having a bachelor degree has a very high uh, correlation with the average household income per state. Okay, so let's see if we can find that. That's edu. And what we're interested in is household income and bachelor degree. It's only really when you plot the values, the correlation might look good, but it's only when you plot the values do you actually see the trend. Okay, so that's household income that we have there. And then that should be fine. So, so now let's go with that. Okay, so you can see for the states of the US, uh, if you increase the number of people with a, with a bachelor's degree in the state, then you will typically increase the average income. A little bit of an outlier there, but mainly they are congregated around that that point, that line. So there's the there's the uh, linear regression value. So household income is equal to one 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 seven times the bat percentage with bachelor's degrees plus this value here. Okay, so that that gives you uh, some idea about the plotting function. And the last one we'll have a look at is the UK referendum. Okay, so in, in this case what we have is we have data from uh, the UK referendum vote. So it's in terms of the turnout, the number of votes cast, and then the percentage for remain and the percentage for leave. And we've also tried to correlate that with the, in that region, the number of kids who get f more than five GC GCEs. Uh, And that's related to the the area. Okay, so what we're trying to do is we'll try and correlate to see if there's a correlation between this value, the academic achievement uh, at school, against the against the votes uh, cast for leave and remain. Okay, so you should be able to look at the the trends. So if we look at uh, Remain, so this was the, the percentage uh, who voted Remain, or what would this will flip over? So that's five or more GCs, GCEs. And so this is congregated up, up around the areas in the UK. So we can see there's an upwardly trend. So the 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 higher the percentage of GC GCEs GC GCEs, uh, roughly the the higher the remain vote was. If we look at the leave vote, it should go in the opposite direction. And there it's there. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at that that data. So the data itself is as we've seen that. Okay, so there's it in our spreadsheet. Okay, so all I've done is I've I've taken the the data from the referendum website 
and then I've, take, I've tried to match that against other data that was on another website for the, 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 the school attainment. This is the percentage achieving more than five of these qualifications and that relates to the neighbourhood or the area. And there's also a, an area code and then a region. So if we wanted to, we could, we could uh, cluster around those things. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll plot for each area and we'll see if we can see any correlations. Okay, so the data set that we have is here. Okay, so here's my, my data set. And then we'll just bring up our program again. In this case we'll read EU. And let's use that for our X. And then let's look at Remain. So this is the percentage vote for Remain. And then we'll be printing them out for each of the areas. Okay, so there we go there. So I think there's how many points are there? There are 318 uh, different regions here. And so this is the percentage with a G with five or more of these qualifications that that's taken typically at the age of 16 in England. Uh, these points are all from England. And then this is the remain vote up here. So there's the 50% here. So we can actually see there's an upwardly trend there uh, for for that. If we plot uh, the other way, we should see a negative trend. Okay, so there we go. So we see the, the downward trend there. And uh, what we should be able to see, so there's the equation, leave is equal to 0 0.5 times the number of G percentage GCs, GCEs uh, plus 72.76. That's that slope there. If we wanted, we could look at the correlation. So we'll just go back and we'll have a look at the correlation to see if there's a strong correlation uh, between those factors. Okay, and you can see it's 0 0.4, 0 0.42 there. So there's the 0 0.42, which is a reasonable uh, correlation between it. One is a positive correlation, another one is a, a negative one. Okay, so, so that's given you an idea about how we would plot with pandas.